I see where Charlemagne is coming from. I'm listening. I see where he's coming from. Charlemagne is basically saying, yo, Elliot, stop crying your way to the timeline. Stop crying your way to the top. Yeah, you made it to the list, but he, Charlemagne in that Brilliant Idiots um, podcast that just dropped, um, Charlemagne said if it were up to him, he would switch Gay P and Elliot. And I agree. Damn. I agree. Hey, both of you guys' opinions. I don't think either of you guys should be faulted for your opinions. <clears throat> so what I feel when it comes to like the media people kind of going back and forth, because we see it once a year at this point. Um, we see Gilly Hill insert himself, whether it be with uh, Joe Budden or whoever. Uh, we see Nori kind of stays out of it, but we kind of see the same players going back and forth over whatever it is. We've seen Rory and Maul and academics go at it. Like, we've seen a lot of people on this list um, kind of come at each other, and it's always a thing, especially to people like us, content creators, podcasters, people who aspire to be in certain positions, people mm -hmm. who look at some of these people on the list. Like, and I think these two in particular, they've been uh, such a credible vessel for the culture for so long in their respective lanes, right? right? Charlemagne dominating radio over the last year. Uh, I mean, last year, last decade mm -hmm. plus mm -hmm. even, some to say. And then YN, the same thing, same thing with Elliot, dominated in his field over the last decade plus, right? And so to see them in this position, I think what makes it most interesting to me today is that we are consumed by it because I think there's a lack of entertainment or value or substance with the artists of today. I think if the artists were actually giving us something to talk about, then we wouldn't necessarily be consumed by when the media people go at each other and when the media people talk. Can I retort that a little bit? Go for it. I would argue that media personalities, not the ones that we've mentioned, of course, want to be artists. Not in terms of like making music, mm -hmm. but just that visibility, that attention, that shine. Because there are some really talented artists You want to put a name on that bullet? Cause... I don't have anyone in mind, for real, for real. I'm just saying it to say it, real talk. Like, mm -hmm. if I had to... Like, like, academics is like a extreme rapper if that he even, he even made music put out music yeah. mm -hmm. academics put out music so it's like that level of attention i think that's what people want because again media has grown and risen mm -hmm. yeah in terms of how people digest it and what they take in so if anything i could see people that you know our peers be like you know what i want that amount of attention in this like on space. the front lines of the algorithm right 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 right, okay. right right and also i think with people's wanting to always consume right like Artists aren't really giving us enough content in that way. I don't hear from my favorite artists unless they're trying to sell me something. Who are your favorite artists? Mm -hmm. Wait, it doesn't what? matter who it is. Do you mean this year? In general, in life. I don't know because I, don't know. I feel like you're saying like, okay, so basically you're saying like artists aren't giving us enough to talk about. So that's why these media people beefing, it's like on the algorithm. Mm -hmm. I just feel like this year, I don't know, that doesn't really make sense to me because this was like the biggest year of us talking about what artists... Like the biggest rap beef mm -hmm. in history, so I feel like that dominated the timeline. And are you saying like that wasn't like enough to catch people's attention? The two, or, the two like, people that are going back and forth over the last week, two weeks, Charlemagne and Elliot Wilson, right? In hip hop, I think they are a part of, and there's no particular order because obviously we got the Joe Buttons and we got the academics. But them two in particular, I think they have the cachet, they have the credibility, they have the history, they have the relationships, they have the skill set to interview anybody in our space, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, this probably was the biggest year for hip-hop beef. I think this was the biggest hip-hop beef ever, the yeah. Drake and Kendrick. Yeah. But we haven't heard from Drake or Kendrick. When we do hear from a Drake, oh, you mean like them we talking. hear him oh, yeah, yeah. with Bobby Altoff. We hear him with Loro Yachty, which is a comfort space, right? It's a very safe way to get whatever quote unquote thoughts he wants to get out. We aren't hearing from the top artists in a real way anymore. And we haven't for a very long time, which I think it leaves us as consumers kind of starving to hear from people that we want to hear from. And it leaves the Elliots and the Charlemagnes and the Academics and the Joe Buttons and the Rory Malls and whoever it is that you listen to, it kind of infects our algorithm. It consumes our attention because I think the artists have taken a step back. Here's where I get confused. Nobody's going to fight. 
Are they? Yeah. What is like that, their? That'd be my think, whole thing. What do you think their yo. end goal is? Like, should they <laughs> link up and talk? Or like, <laughs> I don't. What now? That'd be my whole thing when I see this shit. Like, just beef in general online. It's not even just with our peers or people in the media mm-hmm. space. Okay, you said all of that. Now what? You gonna pull up on boy? Niggas gonna spin? <laughs> I don't. I'd think, be sitting here like, now yeah. I don't what? think. I don't think that's their goal either, though. That, like, that's a my little point. back and forth. For now, now what? maybe it could be entertainment value. I don't know. I don't know. And but, what part of it is entertainment value? Because everyone's mm-hmm. talking about it. Numbers, uh, you know, views counts are going up. Mm-hmm. Uh, more people are subscribing. So that aspect of it, I do recognize. Mm. Maybe but I'm I, just a bit morbid. Though. Charlemagne called Elliot Wilson "Eat a Dick Wilson." No, and then said, "You said that riding dick is the worst form of um, getting your way up to the top." So where is this going? Okay, I didn't. You okay, see, those so are Dick Wilson is no, crazy. Yeah, yeah. Those are fighting so, words. Yeah, so, <laughs> So it's like what? Those so now fighting. knowing that, like, I wonder now what their what? end goal is because that is like real life disrespectful. You That's know? what I'm so saying. It's like, Can you stay right there? That is why I like to keep my peace and be around who I like to be around because there's no in between for me. If you talk out your mouth like that, alright, let's just up it. Like I don't, I don't get it now because that some disrespect. He said that shit. Yeah, He's, yeah, yeah, yeah. He called him. Eat the oh shit, that's a lot. Yeah. That, that was a lot. Yeah. That's a lot. He, he gave a lot of dick references in Damn, regards Sean. to Elliot, and they come from the school of where you're not supposed to really play those that's dick what games I'm with somebody's saying. name like where that. Where is this gonna go? I don't. Like, I think I, I don't know. It does would. seem. It does feel personal. I don't know how they resolve it. Um, Charlemagne apparently he invited. Elliot to his platforms to the Breakfast Club and to Brilliant Idiots to have a conversation. I don't understand why Elliot wouldn't want to have the conversation. I don't know, but I just know there's a void with artists, which Mm -hmm. makes us consumers, because I don't know about y'all, but every single day, if I have dead space in my routine, my daily routine, I'm filling it with something. Whether it be something from YouTube, whether it be an audio book, whether it be a sports show, Colin yeah. fucking Cowherd, uh, Pat McAfee, Gilbert Arenas, it, whatever it is, there's mm-hmm. so much that's always happening. Mm-hmm. And the way that the YouTube algorithm works, every time you refresh it, there's a new video that's catered just for you. Mm-hmm. It could be from 18 months ago. They know what I want to listen to. Yeah. <laughs> they get it, right? And it's always a void of an artist. It's always content-based related. It's always what's happening today. Our favorite artists are not talking, are not saying or doing anything today, but crashing out. I think it depends on who your favorite artist is, man. Because the platforms like Drink Champs, Million Dollars Worth of Game, like they're still guest based platforms. Million that, Dollars that Worth of Game has been quiet this year, which is why they haven't, they weren't but, in the top 10 of Complex. And I'm not saying it's a knock to Gilly Wallow. They're clearly shifting their focus. But when it comes to the artists, when it comes to the I'm interview. I'm talking about the willingness to come and speak to us, is what I'm saying. Artists have had the willingness to want to speak to us for the last few years. Maybe it hasn't been Jay Z or Drake. But uh, yeah, we've seen most of the people current right now do an interview. I've seen a 21 Savage interview. I've seen a Lil Yachty interview. He got a fucking uh, podcast now. Uh, Kodak Black, unfortunately, I saw an interview from him and I wish I never w- listened to a watch. <laughs> yeah. like, I think if we're talking about yeah. Drake, like the, the like, yeah. most, no shade to anybody, most important people that we want to hear from, especially this year, Drake, Kendrick, J. Mm-hmm. Cole, Jay Z, like those figures, we have not heard from them in like years. And I get what Savon is saying with mm-hmm. that. That is true. Like, I do agree that there is a very big hole in terms of like really good interviews, and that's what we really want. But then if we're really looking for content as music lovers, there's like plenty out there as well. So I see, like, yeah, I get the point. The like, plethora. I don't know what we're going to do. Let's see. Man. Hopefully, they, they dead, whatever that is, soon, though. Who? Wait, I don't. I, I hope they keep going. Really? And, if, and if they do dead it, I hope they dead it on camera. But what's supposed to happen? It has to because right. no one's gonna right, physically. That. No, like, that's what I'm saying. Like I, I don't saying. think like, it's gonna end in violence. Like they two older niggas. Old. Like I don't think they nah, really don't get gonna it fight. Fucked up. Niggas can still get it popping. Nah, they can get it popping, but it's gonna be like, yo, you, my nigga, like y'all, like come on, what are we doing? <laughs> like Charlamagne, Elliot, like just talk it out because that's what clearly I want to do. That's what y'all do for a living. So get on the microphones, create content, talk about it. Don't edit shit, right? Like if it gets disrespectful, let us see it all. I think that's what the other thing when it comes to content too, right? And and this is one of the beauties of um the 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 golden era of podcasting that i would like to consider with the combat jacks um with the dinnerlands with the tax stones with the earlier uh iteration of the joe budden podcast you kept the cameras rolling 
we not cutting shit. If we're going to sit in front of these cameras and we're going to hash shit out, you're going to get all of that. So if Elliot and Charlemagne sit down and they really talk and it gets disrespectful or it gets loud, whatever the case may be, as long as nobody's throwing hands, and even if they're throwing hands, fuck it. We seen what Amber Rose and, and, and Jocelyn just did. Like, throw the, whatever happens, happens. This is content. But what if he doesn't? Because Elliot, it looks like he's really standing on not wanting to do any sort of content. He's, he's, it looking like he's saying it's up and it's stuck. And maybe I missed it. Maybe he gave a valid reason as to why he doesn't want to do that. But I think that's kind of corny because you're throwing stones and hiding your hands. You're saying whatever you were saying. So go have the conversation with Charlemagne on camera, whether it be a neutral site or what. Like, this isn't even about money. And I think maybe the money in content creation and podcasting, right? Because I can see a world where Elliot may be like, I don't want to go on Brilliant Idiots because that is a controlled environment by Charlemagne. I can see Charlemagne saying, wait, I don't want to go to Rat Radar or, or I don't want to go to the bigger picture because now that is an Elliot Wilson controlled environment, right? So maybe somebody just needs to say, <gasps> fuck the money. Let's just have the conversation, put it out into the world, and it does whatever it has to do. Like, let's get back to the essence of what podcasting and, and, and real uh, verbal sparring is. I'm not asking for no violence. These two, are, they're not too violent Guys, I don't look at them and think they're gonna but that's pop the, on each and, other. But that's why I'm and getting if they confused. Do, fuck it. But that's why I'm getting confused in content space because in content space, niggas use fighting words and like you said, want to hide their hand or don't want to talk about that. And again, this is not just for these people. This is all across the board, big, small. Niggas use fighting words. Right. So it's like, yo, bro, if we using fighting words but nobody fighting and we just doing shit like, for what views, are we, doing? Like, we just doing shit for views, but we using fighting words. Come on, son. What are we doing? I don't even know what's going on no more. I don't bro. think fighting. Well, I think I was misled I, as a I think, kid. I think they got a little bit too much money to take their fighting yeah. words and actually fight. And fighting never Or really... set some shit up because they got so much money and can do it in an appropriate way. <laughs> no, no, like, so I have the perfect solution. So, mm -hmm. you know, you were saying that they shouldn't do it on each other's turfs because for valid reasons, you don't really want to go in there. Yeah. They both should come to Need to Know Podcast. Hash it and out. Hash it out and hash we it will out. we will help them, you yeah, know, like mediate because like these are two goats. I like that. Please, that is our official invite. I like that. Gentlemen. So I'm, I'm not mad at that. Yeah. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that at all. Not mad at we, that ain't, we ain't got a horse in the race. No. But I do think if there is, you know, um some tension there. Uh and, and it's been on quote unquote, it's been on wax. Mm -hmm. Right? We saw Elliot going back fuel. He went crazy on Charlemagne. We seen Charlemagne go on Brilliant Idiots. He went crazy on Elliot. Um, and I think they're too important to this space. And whether they try to like transform or evolve beyond this space, like I know Charlemagne has real big aspirations. He's doing amazing things with Kevin Hart. He's actually partnered with Kevin Hart mm -hmm. on some audiobook stuff. Mm -hmm. um, he has his own podcast network. Like I, I, we all see if you're in this space and you watch, you know where Charlemagne is going, where he's trying to go, where he wants to end up. Like we understand that. But that doesn't take away from his importance in this space. And the same thing with Elliot. Yeah. Right. Like we know all that you've done, Elliot, and we see that you're still trying to compete today. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't take away from their role uh, in this ecosystem when it comes to content. And when y'all say the things that y'all say and y'all uh, uh, communicate with each other the way that y'all been communicating with each other publicly, it's not private. Like, I know how you feel about Charlemagne, and I know how he feels, and vice versa. You get mm -hmm, what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, all right, cool. Y'all the OGs in this shit. Let's, let's, let's do it. Mm -hmm. get, get on a fucking podcast and, and, and go crazy. And if it gets crazy, fuck it. Because that's what this shit was built off of. This is why we love podcasting opposed to radio, right? And radio serves its purpose. But there's a reason why podcasting is booming and it's in this unfiltered, golden era. It's unfiltered. unfiltered it's, it's uncontrolled. It's the wild, wild west. It's the gold rush of media. Every time somebody asks me about, yo, what is it about podcasting that you really love? Nobody has figured it out. And when I used to watch the, the, the first iteration of Drink Champs, when Nori really used to get the, the legends super drunk, super lit, and they were just going off the cuff, going crazy, that's what made me fall in love with the space. You know what I'm saying? Before the bags came into play, before we had edits, there wasn't an edit button eight years ago in podcasting. Niggas just used to let it fly. So, all right, let's get back to it. Let it fly. And maybe this is broke nigga talk because I ain't got, <laughs> I don't got the shit that they got to lose. But just from like, you know, a consumer standpoint, you know, I would love to see that. I feel it. I will say this though. I, I personally appreciate their mindset and views on topics. 
For sure. That's just me personally. And like, the comedy that they, that they bring, bring with it and when yeah, they're... Just me personally, like, you know, up and stuck, I get it. Niggas want to fight. They got fighting words. Me personally, to the two, I truly appreciate where they come from when they're speaking on topics in our culture. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's really entertaining enough for me. I, ain't yeah. going I would just like for them, like Savon was saying, for them to get in the same room and yeah. then hash it out. Because yeah. I really want to, I feel like a conversation like that would actually open themselves up to us. Like, all right, like, let me, uh, help me understand where you, what you really feel about me if Charlemagne to uh, Elliot and Elliot to Charlemagne. Like, let's really hash this out so we could try to figure out, all right, like, where do you stand on this? Why do you see it that way? You know, I think it's just be, it would just be a learning lesson, uh, learning views from everyone across the board. I want to see why the number four and number five spot think they don't belong in those positions. Tell that man to his face. I want, I, I, I want to see that. I do. I, like that's just me, and maybe again, it's a void of of, of <laughs> artists because I do feel like that plays a big part as to why we're so invested. Because I see other um, content creators, other people in the space, like Wayno, he does reactions to what's happening in the space. Um, Rob Markman, I see he's doing reactions to what happens in the space. So people are definitely invested, and there's a reason why we're talking about these two people. Um, even though they come from different lanes and different facets, whatever the case may be, I do think their their role in this ecosystem of current media, hip-hop yeah. media today, yeah. is super important. Now, I think it's funny. Like I like remixing a name to Eat a Dick. What, like That's hard to me. I feel it, but it's like, like it's that. back. Yeah, it's I back, don't agree with it. It's back to what you said about maybe we're not as invested well, maybe let's invest more of our time into the art. <laughs> like, you know, maybe we don't get all of this shit. Like, yeah. But again, salute to everybody. I know content is content. Everything is entertaining. So salute.